Have you ever heard this noise when you go to start your lawn tractor? Well, if you have and you're not sure how to fix it, keep watching because today in this video I'm going to show you how to repair that problem. So first of all, pop the hood open. And if you've already guessed that it's a starter issue, you're right. What we're going to be doing is repairing the starter gear on the starter. We're going to start by removing the two screws that hold the plastic cover over the starter gear. Also going to have to remove this 5 16 bolt here that holds the oil filler tube. Do not remove the oil filler tube from the crankcase or else there could be oil spilling out. Now move the tube aside a bit, grab this plastic cover, it's going to come off. And here's what the problem is, as you can see the gear is all stripped, it's made of a plastic or nylon. This is what the new gear is supposed to look like, so you can see why it's not grabbing at all to start the engine. Now before you start this job, make sure to disconnect the negative cable from your battery. Your battery may be located under your seat or right in front of the steering wheel console here. Now I'm going to remove the starter. What you're going to need to do for that is remove the two half inch bolts that hold it onto the engine. There's one here and there's one over there. And don't forget to remove the positive cable from the starter. This is a 7 16 nut. Just remove it and the cable is going to come right off. And it'll be easier to get in to remove this bolt with a wrench. Sometimes they're on there tight, so watch your fingers when you're loosening them with the wrench. And now your starter's off. Now I also realized that when I removed the starter, this top part here made of plastic was cracked and it broke right off. It doesn't matter because usually when you replace the starter gear, you may as well replace this part here, especially if it's made of plastic. The new part I'm going to be putting on is made of some kind of metal. It's going to be much stronger and we're going to know that the whole top end of the starter is properly repaired. So at this point here what I need to do is to remove the small roll pin here that is on the shaft. I'm going to use a roll pin punch for that. Now I've set up the starter over a socket like this right where I'm going to remove the roll pin. While you're removing the roll pin it would be much easier if you have somebody holding the starter for you. You want to keep the end of the shaft on something hard like the socket so that the pressure isn't all going on the starter armature. If there's too much pressure going on the starter armature, you could bend the shaft and damage your starter permanently. Now you want to grab the proper roll pin punch and remove it by tapping down on the punch. Now after trying to remove the roll pin, the plastic around it broke, so I've got it in the vise like this. It's going to be much more solid and I'm going to tap it out. So here's the parts now. Make sure you remember where this washer was. And now the gear is going to come out. Look at that, eh? It's in bad shape. Now this part's going to slide right out. And I'm going to put a bit of lithium grease in there and stick it back on. First of all, you can remove the rust with a wire brush. Now there's a bit of lithium grease. I'm going to stick it inside here. Now it's going to be nice and smooth on the shaft. I'm using lithium grease because it's not going to get hard and thick and prevent this mechanism from turning freely. By using lithium grease you're sure of the same consistency in the grease whether it's hot out or very cold outside. Now that it's all properly greased you can put your new gear on. It's going to turn in like that. Now put this washer back on. Next you need to install this part. This one's made of aluminum which is much better than the plastic part I removed. You need to stick it on the shaft and line it up with the hole on the shaft just like that. Next you want to reinstall the roll pin that came with the kit or you can use your old pin again. Once you've got the pin lined up with the hole in the part and on the shaft just tap it in. And now I'll grab the roll pin punch and tap in the pin just a bit more till it's even on both sides here. And this is how you want the pin installed, even like that. What you need to install now is this plastic part like that. Now install the spring over there and you're going to have this small cap in the kit. And now simply tap the cap in. 
and this is what it will end up looking like and when you bring the gear up like that the spring makes it go back down. Here's another view so you can see it once more. Now the parts that I use today for this are aftermarket parts made by Rotary. I don't mind using Rotary aftermarket parts for this application because it's even better than the OEM part. As you saw previously the OEM part here was plastic, this one here is metal. And the part for this from Rotary is part number 26-9362. You can go to a small engine dealer and ask for an aftermarket part from Rotary if you're doing this repair. Also, I can supply them for you as well, brand new. Just let me know if you need that part. And that kit I showed you includes all the parts I replaced today, including the gear. And you can also just buy the gear separately on its own. So once you've got all the parts back on your starter, you're ready to put it back on. And before I reinstall the starter, I'm going to spray a bit of liquid wrench all over here. Now you'll need to line up the starter with the holes here and put the two bolts back on. And now make sure that your bolts are on tight. Because of limited space on this side, you're going to have to go in with the wrench. Now reconnect the positive cable on the starter and make sure that this nut is tight. Now reinstall the starter gear cover. Now attach the small bolt up here that holds the filler tube and it's a 516 socket you're going to need for that. Now attach both bolts that hold the starter gear cover. You can use a flat screwdriver or a quarter inch socket to tighten these up. Now that you've got the starter all back on like that, let's try it and hope that we did a good job. But before you try it out, make sure you've reconnected the negative cable on the battery. So as you can see it's a fairly simple job to do. I'm sure if you watch this video you're going to be able to do it yourself. If you want to save yourself a lot of money go to my channel and subscribe. Watch all my videos if you want to learn how to repair your own small engine equipment. I'm sure you're going to save yourself a lot of money in the long run. And thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.